Hi all, so I've got this, it's called the Cool Maker Kumi Creator and supposedly it's basically an uh, easier way or quicker way of doing Kumihimo. Um, makes the round one so it's basically that but it's got a little star and I thought this would be fun, it does have a limit, it can only do up to 12 colours um, but you know that's still not bad uh, it still would produce a reasonably thick braid I would have thought and it comes with bobbins and things but um, let's open it up and see what else is in it shall we This has got all the bobbins and these are some actual class for at the end and looks like we've got a bunch of patterns here and some stickers so let's just get everything else out of the box and we can have a look okay so it's saying about making sure it's set up correctly and it's got a website to go and have a look um, and the usual warning stuff let's see under here so, guessing this is part of the stand. Um, that's number for repairs or problems, I guess. Okay, so we've got a little booklet. Well, it tells us it's also on YouTube. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this has got about the setup and how to use it and all that jazz. Um, and this has got some warnings. You want to slide the string in, not open it up. Good to know, then we don't break it. <laughs> and then the actual maker. So let's take that off. And I think that looks like everything. So let's get rid of the box. basically what we got in it so this obviously fits on so um, I've just folded that bit in half I don't know if I can get it off and show you again so, there we go so it comes like that just fold it in half and that clips down let's open it back up so this obviously slots in here so that's pretty simple we got a bunch of bobbins, let's have a look. Okay, so this has got patterns on each one. It shows us a different setup for each pattern we want to do, so that's quite cool. So it looks like there's a few different ones, and it tells us here we've got 10 caps and 10 end bits. I'm guessing that's what grips it. We'll have a read and find out in a minute, won't we? Um, so we've got a bunch of stickers here, Kumi Creator stickers. And if I remember from seeing the video that I've seen, these are what go around the end of it so that it doesn't unravel while you're getting the clasp on, which is quite cool. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, so this is a measurement, so you can measure the size around your wrist. It slots on. So it just, if you can see, it just slots in like that to measure the size of your wrist. So that's quite cool, so I'm guessing we'll be able to use that on here at some point to know if we've done it big enough. 
quite a few bobbins here. Let's move this out the way and you can have a closer look. So, there's a few different colours there. So we've got two of this pink, um, two of this lighter pink, two of the green and one lot of the purple. Um, well, it's not too bad, is it? That's quite a few. And there's the little end class as well. So you get a reasonable amount in it. I think the box said it was enough to do 10 bracelets. Oh. Yeah, so the box says it's enough to do 10 bracelets. I think that's probably subjective, depending on how big you need to make the bracelet. But I still think it's quite cool. I mean... How do these come apart? So they just pop together. I'm guessing these are probably the same. Just yeah. So they just pop together with your kimono. It's not bad though, is it? They're they're plastic. They look silver, but they're plastic. But then for a little toy set, that's to be expected anyway. So let's have a look at the instructions so I'm not ashamed to read the instructions they're there for a reason um, okay so it explains here what each one is as we know this is the white arms they call it and um, blue arm underneath so they just label each piece and explain what each piece is. Yep, so I've done the first bit, I've clipped it in and I've folded that down. Just like it says. And then we want to make sure... Okay, so let's go back out again. Oop. That's in, we want out. So, it's told us to put this in and this, which I've already done. And then it's make sure that these bits here are lined up straight underneath. Which, if I can do in a straight line, will be good. I'm going to have to go all the way around now. Look, it swatches, switches them all the way around. Quite cool so the blue bits are there to switch them all around and then line up themselves so don't know if you can see the blue line up in their own blue slots to start with so we've done that and then okay so it says pick your pattern and put your bobbins in the correct places so should we just pick any random one, let's have a look. Should we try the slumber party? That's not particularly pretty. So a prettier one, should we have a look? That spirals back up. Ooh, so many choices. Sunrise, starlight and bell. Hmm. I think we should go with BFF. Okay, so let's check on. Want to hold the spool, string end facing out. Okay, so if you can see there, you have the that way or that way, and it says to do it swing end facing out, so you want to hold it that way. And then it wants us just to insert the spool hold until it clicks in place. Now, we're doing this pattern, so that one is going to go there. So we'll go one, two, so we'll put it in this one. So, oh, well, yep, that clips in space. And then we want to, oh, we want to hold up the spring. Pull it out, poke it up through the inside of the plastic there. 
and then apparently you want to take it through that one round it into that one uh, next page <laughs> Okay, so we don't want the thing to be higher than those legs, so we need to turn that to pull it down. Good to know. So, I'll line that up so it's just there. I will we'll do this closer once I've worked out. I think that's all, and then we just line them all up. Okay, so that looks pretty self-explanatory. Right, okay, so the next one we want is a light pink. Oh, I can pick it up. Now let's come in. Okay, so we're doing this one here because that's the one on the pattern there. So we're going to make sure that that bit is facing outwards because we're going to put it on the outside there and then we're just going to clip it in until it clicks which it does and then we want to unravel a little poke it up through the plastic there can you see poking up through there and then we want to take it around I think we should have done that one first let's take that one out so we can get them in the right order, shall we? So we're going to go... Let's go back. So we go in between there. Then can you see this white here? We're going to go slit into there. And then we've got these lines here and we don't want it taller than those. I'll turn it on its side in a second for you to see. So the string there can't be taller than those bits there apparently there's a good reason for it which stops it jamming apparently so I'm put that one in again make sure these are make sure these are tight you don't want them dangling and then they're just in there so let's do the next one so we want yellow on this side so let's do that if I can pick it out. Again, remember, make sure it's pointing out. Let's just turn that around, poke it on until it clips. Take a little bit up through. I know it's probably really hard for you to see all of this, but and poke that one through and turn it until it's the correct length next colour is the dark pink again so poke that one in here And turn that one down. And then we're going to skip to, I'm going to go a yellow here. Poke it on into a clip. Up through there. So the setup seemed reasonably simple. I don't know if you can see, the bobbins are literally clipping on to these little ridges in here so that squeezes closed and locks the bobbin in place. Hopefully you can see that. So then we want a blue.
and then skip that because obviously that's the lineup and then we want two pinks so we'll do two pinks next make sure you're keeping it taut Okay, so we've now set them all up. And it's important to double check and make sure all the yarn is freely flowing on the insides of these. You don't want it caught between the back and the bobbin. So once we've done that, this white arm tab here, make sure they're all inside. And you're just going to push it down. It clips in place. I don't know if you heard that clip, but it clips in place. And now apparently we can just turn and watch the braid appear. So it's going to be interesting. Um, so let me just turn and let it do its thing apparently. I don't know if you can see from that angle but it's actually starting to lift up the arm as we go and create the braid if we come out a little so you can see it's just stopping them all around So that's a complete cycle because they're all the way back. So we've done several cycles. So it has created the braid. Um, it's not the neatest, but it is still pretty cool. Can you see that? So it has created the braid just fine. It's just not maybe as even, and maybe that's where, because it keeps getting stuck every so often, um, it loosens the tension on it. I don't know. But it's not bad. So I don't know at which point this will stop moving up. It might ping all the way back. Should we do a few more and see how it goes? Almost run out of bobbin, so we might as well keep going until the bobbin is all done.
Okay, so that's gone as back as it far, so the tension isn't doing it anymore, so... Let's see where the tension is. It's getting them stuck because it's not pulling on it anymore. Okay, so I think you don't want to go past the point that it... Um, once this stops moving back, I don't think you want to braid any further because the tension just disappears. But if I just pull that off and then lift that up and pull it out. Now you should stick something here to hold it in place before you put your ends on, but I'm not going to because I'll try to redo this again at some point with better tension. But, you know, it, it's not terrible. It's, Gonna focus, focus. A little too close, I guess. So I go closer. That's good. There we go. So it's not terrible. It's it's not too bad. Um, I'm certainly used to a more even tension working with the discs, but for kiddies, I'm sure this would actually be fine. It certainly created the braid. No doubt about that. So it's, it, I mean, it works, doesn't it? And maybe as I get used to it, the tension will be better on it. Um, it it's not bad, is it? I mean, it works as a bracelet. It's quite pretty. So, yeah, I would... Let's come back out. You can have a look again. So that was really quite simple to work, I think, because um, all you're using is this to take it around. So that's pretty simple. Um, clip that down there, it works. So I think this is a fun little project that certainly will make some nice bracelets. Um, and you could probably come up with your own once you've got bored of all of these. Uh, I think tension is definitely not quite as good, but maybe that's just me and the way I'm working it. I will use it a few more times um, and then come back and give a second opinion on it to see if the tension evens out once I get used to using it. But, you know, it, it's pretty good. I'll also try it with some different threads. I'll refill these bobbins with some different ones. The um, creators of this, they sell bobbins packs that you can buy um preloaded and they do say not to reload the bobbins um and to buy the packs but i can't see why you couldn't reload these bobbins with some dmc thread or some cotton or something um and create your own colors i don't see why you need to buy their packs i think that's a marketing gimmick i think it'd be just fine to create your own ones but i'll test it out and let you know uh, but yeah, it, it's not too bad. This is twenty six ninety nine, so it's not the cheapest toy, but it's not extortionate. It's certainly something that could be used as a birthday present or Christmas present, um, or you know, the kids can save up their pocket money for and get within a reasonable time. So yeah, I don't know if there's an age limit thing on it. Let's have a look. Okay, so they say from eight up. Um, personally, if you got some help, I don't know why someone who's five or six couldn't use these as well. But they say from eight up, so maybe it's just a generation thing, and nobody under eight would want to play with it. I don't know. Um, but I can't see any like dangerous areas. That means that a five or six year old couldn't play with it. It means just dialing around and. If you're monitoring your kids with it, I think it'd be fine. So, yeah. Check it out. Check back with me in a little while. And we'll see what we think. Oh, here we go. I've just noticed here, it says here, when red line meets... Ah, there we go, look. So... Didn't spot this. There's a red line once it finishes going to tension. When your bracelet reaches that spot, that's where you measure the length. 
apparently. Yeah, so once you reach, when they line up, you stop braiding at that point. Um, no matter how much is left on the bobbin. So that's. It's handy to know when to stop, I suppose. I'm just trying to see if it shows. Yeah, so you'd use your little bracelet measurement for the spot that you need to go to by going from there to wherever it is to make sure it's long enough. So you could stop beforehand if you wanted by just doing your measurements there. Um, but I think it's going to be a challenge to get one at five. I don't know. I'll have to test it. For a quick go though and a quick opening, I don't think it's too bad. I think it would work just fine. Um, as I said, I'm not going to finish this off. I will take this apart again and test again because I'm not going to waste the threads. But when you are finished, you literally just clip one of these little plastic things around the end and then pop it through here and it will stay in place. So that's reasonably simple use and the instructions are pretty self-explanatory they do explain it really well how you finish off so yeah it, it's not bad it's i think it'd be a fun little thing so that'll do for now i will see you all later because i'm just rambling now <laughs> i will see you all soon you'll take care bye